And hello. Did I ever... Alright, for a moment I thought it was acting up again. Uh... Am I up there? Oh, shit. It's Dreadicles. So I think it might be because of Spotify. <laughs> Back to me. Okay. I think one of the interesting things when you set it to Honkai, it'll automatically uh sets the drops enabled thing if you have drops enabled. Which is pretty cool, because I'm a forgetful person. Did you lie? That's... Um... I'm looking around and I'm realizing... I might have left my chap one of my chapsticks downstairs. That's fine. I got plenty others. Alright. Uh, save for that little mishap. I think we're good to go. I'm just going to quickly... Change the planet, and then we'll change it to yeah. All right. I know that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, so the tag itself isn't there on its own, interestingly enough. Guess I might add that. Just in case. Okay. There we go. I think we're good. I think this just in case I forgot. And we're good. Okay. don't need this on, so we'll turn off this music. And just in case... No, I think we're fine. Alright. Let's go! This place still hasn't been corroded. Yet fragmentum monsters have already made it here. I fear the stuff... Swing, batter, batter, swing, batter, batter, swing, batter, batter, swing. It's too late to repent. My turn. <laughs> Let's make it quick. You sure can go find both, I guess. <laughs>
reach the end of the story in your own way. A weird little thing. Let's send a message and ask him. What is this, Mr. Yang? There are some reality data in the cattle galaxies, galaxies that might come in handy, but do be careful when coming in contact with them. Their existence in these galaxies are still a mystery to us, and danger with others is incalculable. In your coming journey, you may come across other galaxies like this, and reality data stored in different galaxies may vary, so look out for that. Yes, thank you. Awesome. Alright, let's see what we find here. I think... Let's do six, why not? Let's have a random stranger support in this one, I think. What? Yes. Hold up. Uh, melee, ice, fire, wind. Okay. Not what I wanted. Uh, so, someone with firepower, I think. I'll be right behind you with all the support you need. The truth of life and death revealed in an like instant. That. This is shiny and bright. It's but a vision. chance you won't get away clemency never heard of the time now you yeah, won't baby. get away one more right yes perhaps you still don't understand Humanity never concealed its desire to control the heavens. And I am no exception. It's too loud, is it? Uh, I think it might be a little bit. Maybe it's fine. Hang on. Okay, 
might be heard over this sound actually because I didn't change the volume back. I might have to adjust it. Just listening to playback, give me a moment. Actually, the game audio could be a little lower. Now that I'm listening carefully. Uh, I think five should be okay, yeah? Uh, a seven. Go do six. Ian's doable. Okay, I don't want to hear myself again. Play this. Trail boy's level is now 10. Just an ordinary snowdrift. Are you sure you're not seeing things? Of course not. My eyesight's perfect. Come on, let's take a closer look. Wonder who's hiding. <laughs> hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. Shiver to death? Shivering is actually the method the body will use to try to keep warm. Help. I got this, March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or <laughs> snow, in this case. Quick. They just need a helping hand. Don't! My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely it doesn't warrant a spearing. <laughs> he totally jabbed him. One hundred percent. But then again, how can I blame you? I mean, I caught you off guard. It it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> Since when were we friends? I uh, just met you, Captain dude. Captain Jeppard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Who? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after what all. What is my feelings of this guy? Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into I mean, it's only the one syllable. Out here in this frozen I would assume it's an easy name to remember. <laughs> bad these days, but fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more. Say, why don't we join forces? I have reliable intel. The main strength of the Silvermane Guards is being deployed to the talking? front line. This is a golden opportunity. An opportunity comes knocking. You open the gang door. Or just leave it outside because it's not interesting to you. Come now, friends. 
I can understand the mistrust, but there's no mm. need for the charade. Charade. I say charades first, uh, personally. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance what? is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than ten feet to, from the silver main guard. To change the graphics a little bit again. Is there a settlement nearby? Settlement? What a literary turn of phrase. Why, there's only one place in this world where the living still reside. Our beloved Bellabog. The further away you get, Bellabog. the nicer things become. The city of preservation, the towering citadel, humanity's last bastion against the eternal freeze. It may sound a bit over the top, but those names are grounded in truth. The only place humans can eke out an existence is behind those impregnable walls. Impregnable walls. Me? You guys scared me to death. There I was, looking for relics to sell, when all of a sudden you came stomping over. I thought the silver main guards were paying me a visit. I'm sure. Seriously, though? Try treading a little lighter next time, huh? If you run into the guards, they won't hide in a snowdrift, and you'll be in a cell before you know it. Definitely. You really don't know? The Silverman Guards are Bellabog soldiers, enforcers, and police. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of Too people. Too bad I can't adjust the settings and during these. To folks in our that would be great. Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> be young and naive again. How about young this? And naive. As a senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. Oh, free stuff. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. A true art indeed. No need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. <laughs> Dan Hong's just like. But, but it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kosti's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. God forbid we get spotted. So why were you hiding from the Silvermane guards? Yeah, we're just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. Um, let's see. Let's do this. Um, we're gonna try the low character. Let's see how that works out. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. So where about you guys from anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. Uh huh. I'm sure you do. Number seven, never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no time. Who are they? The Silvermane Guards. Uh, you remember the Silvermane Guards I mentioned? That's them. That's them. Help me, old friends. I don't want to be caught. It's the suspect and his accomplice. Arrest them! What are you calling accomplices? God damn it.
Let's make it quick. I try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. It's either he's an ally or he's just say this is my free ticket to getting out of jail. Either or is probably true. Let's go. Rules are made to be broken. Whoosh. The truth of life and death revealed in an endless is but efficient. Well, the word is probably the results of using uh, a different server. Let's see, violence. Anyway. Ah, <sighs> oh, lovely. <laughs> Time to fight the captain. I am the hard land down. Captain of the Silver Main Guard, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Oh, that Sampo cheated us all. Wait till I get my hands on him. Suspect, relinquish your resistance. So I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. <laughs> Revealed in its this century is but efficient. My turn. Stay right there while I give you a present. Hurry. Swing better, better swing. You're annoying. You can't stop. Rules are made to be broken. Never heard of it. You have the worst luck running in. This ends here. Oh no. Oh god. That's right. And the prime suspect? The one with the blue hair? Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. <sighs> no matter. We have his accomplices. He'll be close. You might be waiting longer than you As think. In forever. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... Uh, think carefully, March. I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you have the right to defend yourself, but that can only take place under the scrutiny of the architects, not now. Take them away. Bellabog. 
silence. What kind of nonsense are you? As you were, we must not be tempted into careless judgment. Look at their attire. Indeed, it is not in the Bellabog style. Definitely not. Exactly! Uh, and we even have photos! You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold, Yarilo 6. I guess you get. <laughs> you mean to say that this white ball that's here? <laughs> that's our home? How can that. <sighs> It is said that a long time ago, strange visitors from beyond the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And Bellabog would cease to witness such arrivals. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. I've got something stuck in my keyboard. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. Good enough. Wow. For real though, it is pretty impressive to look at. Because you're in Bellabog, the last bastion of humanity. Last bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. You sure saying some weird stuff. A marked change in tone. Sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. Uh-huh. So why is he telling us all this? <laughs> you wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, MC. I agree. We saw strange creatures outside the city. They must have come from a Terran corroded space. A fragmento, correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats. Including the monsters you saw. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy. But I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. Here. We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, 
the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the architects. Klepoth is the symbol of preservation. Under Klepoth's impulsion, the architects constructed the Bellabog, done today, come to think thus of it. protecting the spark of civilization from disaster and the eternal freeze. To show our reverence, we named this fortress after the Eon themselves. The architects, under the protection of Klepoth, have continued to lead this city forward, repelling all manner of disasters. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. Honestly, the architecture is uh, pretty unique, though. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from the I have to go on my other thing to collect a few things, then. The I'll give you that later. is Madame Kakolia Rand. Every major strategic decision is issued by her. Sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kakolia. Please have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Concise. Uh, we're gonna see her right now. Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? Is there any adequate we need to observe? Rest easy. The Madam Guardian doesn't care about formalities. Not to mention, you've only just arrived. It would be unexpected if you were familiar with Bellabog customs. Accurate. I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Madam Kakolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. How can you... <clears throat> you may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. Ugh. Yes, Mother. Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. I always wonder, but how come... Sometimes there's instances where there's smaller letters above the other words. Alternative translation, perhaps? The messenger informed me. Well done, Jacquard. You may leave. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say, from beyond the sky, no? I am Kakolia Rand, Bellabog's Supreme Guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. So you don't doubt our identity? Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. I really should consider getting the proper cushion to sit on at this point because this pillow is flat. Very, very flat. The architects remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once Me. prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, <sighs> and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also... So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the Architects have received no further communication from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. We want to help. We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? 
objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the antimatter region. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the eternal freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as fragmentum space corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. Fragmentons are a product of the Stellaron. The Eternal Freeze is a product of the Stellaron. The Stellarons were cast by the Yawn of Dar's Destruction. Uh, this one. Stellarons bring about different disasters on different worlds, but every world seeded with a Stellaron will give birth to Fragmentums. You can see us as kind-hearted interstellar public servants lending a helping hand to any world affected by a stellaron <laughs> your analysis of our current circumstances is clear we have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of some of which prove vexatious to us even today but why should you care Even if this Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster, I fail to see its connection to you. I don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them. Unless they had something to gain. You're right. Our reason for coming here is not purely selfless. If we don't seal the Stellaron, we cannot leave this planet. we can get rid of it, your world will be safer, too. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Billabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. Mm. It's getting late, and you must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable mm -hmm. hotel. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. Very nice to take over the ground. <laughs> but of course, you are Bellabog's honored guests and have the highest privileges afforded to you. I too need some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. Stand. Do not worry. I have a way. That's not ominous at all. It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. She's an impressive figure. She's the big shot. Definitely got that queen of the castle vibe going on. Oh, so cool. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. Uh, wait, can you recommend some sites? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Well, I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. 
However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... You'll see. Oh, and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guard stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. So the corrosion is inside the city. Well, that's a grave situation. <laughs> yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. What have you got? It is impressive, I won't lie. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards and a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabox History Program. My name is Pip, you can call me Pela. Yes, Miss Pela. And perhaps the grown-ups among us could remain silent? This is a children's program. <laughs> okay, guys, take a look over here. This is Everwinter Monument. It was erected just got told off. <laughs> made up of two parts a gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength and huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal freeze these two symbols are bound together the gear restricting the ice it represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbaric you mean what are they made of it's geomero that's undergone a change in color the color of Geomero is related to the environmental temperature during its refinement. Hmm. The architects are followers of the Eon Klopat. I don't know why I didn't think it was to they that to talk to her at this point before. I feel kind of wrong to walk out. the spark of human civilization. Or, to put it another way, the architects are Bellabog's founders and saviors. Even today, they are still tending to the city. That's a question for the scientific research division. Though they may not be able to give you a definitive answer. 
The Eternal Freeze is no ordinary natural disaster. Meteorological records from hundreds of years ago cannot explain the cause. To put it simply, it's a problem that has plagued Bellabog scientists for centuries. And what about you guys? Take your time. We're not in a rush. I've been staring at it for a while, but it's just an ordinary trash can. What do you want to do? You try to hold back the urge to open it. Let's open this treasure chest and think about it. You continue staring at the trash cans. They seem to turn before your very eyes. The edges are no longer rusty. The dents are smoothed over. From under the lid comes a faint golden glow, sweet and alluring. For a moment, the trash can turns into a treasure chest. And it's happening again. Take a deep breath and open the lid. It's empty. Wait, you reach deeper into the trash can. There's a piece of iron scrap at the bottom. Your hard work paid off. You finally found the treasure. You look back at your companions and see their complicated expressions. You don't need to explain. I get it. That ever just too great for you to resist. There's no turning back once you've walked down this path. <laughs> so you get anything else from this or But it only increased the amount of garbage in the street. Now people in the city have come to the consensus that trash cans are battle bonds other business cards. <laughs> uh, that's the alley that Jacquard mentioned. The one contaminated by the Fragmentum, right? I can't believe how close it is to the city center. They hadn't identified it. I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move back. This is your final warning. What? But my proof of property is inside. What I don't have proof any of property. The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane Guards are permitted to enter here. I can't believe Fragmentum corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. This would re This world really is in dire straits. It sure is. But at least we're here. Once we seal the Stellaron, they can get back to the good life. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way! Let me pass! <sighs> the guards are just over it. They are so over it. Here. 
chance. Vending machine. Where is it? Behind me. items. I'm just getting everything <laughs> that I'm able to get at least. An unusually large paper ball. Upon unfolding, you find it contains wrinkled scraps of paper. I hereby tender my resignation on this my final day of work. I hereby tender my resignation on this my final day of work. I wish to be frank. Generally speaking, my job is uninteresting, and so I hereby tender my resignation on this. I tender. I don't think of it. Is that even the right word? Generally speaking, my job is under interesting and therefore has no meaning. Forget it, time for work. A few typos away from a new career. Summer forest. I'll take this one. Who's Artem? I got a little too wrapped up in the book. Honestly, relatable. There's a lot of flowers. There has an oh, <clears throat> it's an entire family's fortune on one of these flowers. This is why they was named Marquise. Oops. 
Excuse me. To this day, it is beloved by high society. The first note. Flowers eat petals with white spots on each tip, just like the snowflakes. A long time ago, the first show of the year. Snow show. A long time ago, the first snow of the year is called the first snow, symbolizing harvest and joy. Summer shade bamboo. Not appropriate to call it a plant rather than a flower. It is said that long ago artists would use long stalk holes on the to create music. Oh, a flute. Very expensive, expensive, expensive flower. It blooms only once a year for one month. Honestly, the price is completely worth the one month of bloom. It's a cute little guitar. see you before either. You should totally rent them out. Come on, dude. I'll take this. I know collecting a bunch of things would also be pretty helpful. So... Hmm. Let's go get a few things. Maybe not a hundred. I think... I'll do 30. Thirty of these as well. Maybe, maybe. Oops. Go 
I'll do ten of these. Should be fine for now. Judge. I should put it like that. Sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Oh, darn. I wanted to see one. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? Is this how they repel the eternal grace? Sure, mighty is the right word for these architects. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. Oh, wow, she's cool. Hi, hello. Hi there. The name's Graval. I'm the owner of this workshop. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me, though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Oh, uh, we're okay. I was just curious about the heater. Curious? About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. We only just got here. Everything's new to us. Here? Ah, I figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them. That is me. What we. an honor. Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. Keep at it. There was a collectible that I just missed. Keep at it. Can I stop doing that? Oh, yeah. That's better. The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. It's an ore, a special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Geomero grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. 
Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. <laughs> In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. Above and beneath the surface? Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, nobody has moved between the overworld and the underworld in a long time. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. <laughs> no sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Great. Then let me get... Yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you. Yes. So that's how it works. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You pick that up in no time. Wanna be my piece of cake. Average pay, but I'm a good boss. Allow me to refuse. <laughs> I was only kidding. Just a joke. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? My workshop will... Let's see here. Do I want to go yet, or do I just want to continue looking around for our bed? What books do you have? I have to come back quite a little later. Oh, that's garbage pail. An overwhelmed no fishy smell emanates from the trash can as you remove the lid. The kind of fish you find only in fish related water. Is that how synth works? Passing by, don't mind me. Why not use the rehearsal room?
Doesn't matter either way. Tell me that the golden theater is always open to being entertained. Another the pitch, the director is not very happy about that. The theater hired a voice actress to assist me. She's impeccable indeed, but too professionally trained, never missed a day of practice. Now I have to lip sync and act as if in a silent film. I can't help but think that maybe one day they'll get rid of me altogether. What do you think I should do? Maybe find a project that suits your voice better. Musical artists only look good on stage for a very limited period of time. Once their physiques change and their voices become coarse, they have to beat the stage here well. They call it spending more time with the family, but everyone knows it's the end of their career. You'll have to challenge that. music. That was interesting. Seriously though, that building is pretty impressive. to make so many friends. Yeah, come to think of it. So, I have this friend. How do they have so many different friends for so many different scenarios? That is very interesting to me. Someone threw a book into the trash can. You pick it up. It seems to be a lengthy serial novel by the name of the Tale of the Winterlands. You seem to have the incomplete fourth volume in your hands. I must search for the book. You've got too much energy. <laughs> A burning smell invades your nostrils as you approach the trash can. The trash can looks like it's set on fire. The entire trash can is deformed with a layer of dark, scorched, ash like substance coating the bottom. In the light, you see the particles floating softly, almost dancing. Take the envelope on the left, take the envelope on the right, push them all in, leave them be. Hmm, what should I pick? Hmm. You reach your hand and gently touch them. You are sure where your hands skim, but the balance of the two envelopes is instantly broken. It's indescribable how good it feels to do something good. Praise of high morals. Ah. 
Ta da! Mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Want to have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're stuck with goose feathers. <laughs> March. Earlier in Clipoth Fort. Stop, I know what you're gonna say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. Me. But check it out! Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. I believe the phrase is... Uh... Where is the law? That's... Not what I was going to say. Alright, spit it out then. Earlier in Clipoth Fort, were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. So, did you notice anything? Nope, she seemed normal to me. At first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm, I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Uh, do you have to put it like that? That's scary. You must have been with the Invisible Man. Well, there's no way he'd get past Don Hun's sharp eyes. Perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. See something real quick. On the sides of the lobby. Began a long time ago. The Goth family used to be prosperous. My ancestors invested in many industries. Unfortunately, due to poor economics, our family declined. Frustrated, my ancestors excuse me, all their properties and moved to the underworld. Luckily, later on, another ancestor from my family started empty, empty handed and revived our family business. Once again, the Goth Hotel was moved back to the overworld. Depends on how you define special guest, huh? Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Can't I actually get some tea, though? I don't think it's possible to actually get tea, because you can't really interact with anything. It's 100% true. Right.
Collect stuff. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. That's enough fun for today. Time to rest. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. I've got a bad feeling. Well, don't talk about it then. Let's get to bed early and save our energy. I sense the next few days could be tiring. Investigates. Without a doubt, what's in front of you is a closet. It is. Based on all the signals coming from your sensory organs. But I feel like I should do it. <clears throat> it is based on the signals coming from your sensory organs. A perfect closet. Design, capacity, tactility, build quality, and scent. No matter how you look at it, you can't possibly think of a better closet. Wait a minute. Scent. How is that a measurement of how good a closet is? Doesn't matter, it smells good, and there's not an odor of the typical sandalwood or any other natural materials. Rather, it's, mi it's miraculously cleansing scent that is completely artificial, a marvel of the chemical engineering. It is so alluring that you want all you want is to get into the closet and let your whole body soak in its scent. Whatever, I'm going in. Here I come, closet. <laughs> You're about to go in. Left foot, right foot. Turn around, take a deep breath. Dot it, why take a deep breath? You won't sneeze, but you manage to suppress it. Stand firm and then... Close the door in one smooth move. Bang! Congratulations, you are now you have now been merged with the universe's most perfect closet as a single entity. But honestly, your mood is far from reaching the state of excitement. Perhaps you should do more time to comprehend the subtle wonder of all this. This place might seem a little too dark for you. Guess you will eventually get used to it, right? Dark Knight gifted me a set of four dark eyes. That's the spirit. Give it more time. Adapt to this dark environment. Trust yourself. Just wait a little longer. Something more interesting than this pitch darkness will occur. It's guaranteed to be the real deal. Wait. Did you hear that? A sound is closing in. Is the real deal coming? That's exactly right. Just think about it. Now take a guess. Whose footsteps are these? Yes, yes, you'll finally get it. That is the Goth Hotel's resident devil. It hibernates in the unattended small attics, specifically feeding on the innocent and vulnerable outsiders. It picked the wrong opponent to mess with this time. After all, you are universally renowned trailblazer, the guardian deity of the, of the Herta space station, the doomsday beasts. Um, doom. Yep. Today is the day you purge the evil, the greater good. It doesn't seem to be that dark in the closet. The light of our illuminates your surroundings. Wow. Room service. Is anyone in there? Ha! Huh. There it is. All halted devils love to disguise themselves as a room service. Such a cliche. You won't be easily fooled by it. Your mind is stronger than those city walls built by Quipoth. You are prepared. Uh, I'm gonna come in now, okay? Now, devil, meet your judgment. Ah, what the heck? You what? The court hotel's devil is now banished. In this one, there's no purified. Um, that devil seems to have left something behind. Take it as your reward for your in intrepidity. I'm not sure how that gives you a praise of high morals, but okay! <laughs> I 
am a thousand percent mature. I don't... Not creepy at all. Who are you? What are you? The voices. The voices. Sus. Hey, did you hear that? There's a group of silver main guards at the entrance, and I don't think they're here to say hi. I don't think so either. Uh, this is our escort. It's less friendly than I was expecting. Maybe they're not here to escort us. I guess we'll have to find out. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. <sighs> hey, Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her. And no tricks. Are we in a lot of trouble? Guards, in the name of the Amber Lord and the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. Say what now? As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you are tried by the adjudication panel, you will be given the opportunity to defend yourself against the accusations. Somehow, I doubt it. Resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. Uh, wait a minute. This isn't what we agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. What she said. This is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Mm-hmm. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Again. Again. It seems like it's every third planet this happens. Every third planet, you say? That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Burn. Hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And... Got one! Does she? Donna, the alley. The one that's been sealed off. Hmm, it's possible. March. Be ready to make an escape. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. It's now or never. Three of a kind. Yeah. Shh. It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? No. I mean, I play solitaire, though. Two pair. Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get going. Ace! Frozen? Have an ice day. <laughs> Have an ice day. Should we 
report them as missing or deceased. <sighs> Spring Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Yes, ma'am. Eradicate all threats to Bellabox security. That is what I must do. <sighs> Lovely. Don't think that's quite right. Serves them right. Better luck next time, slow pokes. That was too risky. Oh, please. It's the result that counts. Gotta take risks sometimes if you want to succeed. Yes. But if it cost you your life, then what? We caught them by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. So, what happened back there? Why did the Supreme Guardian send people to arrest us? Newspaper clip cut off with meticulous care was stuck on an unnoticed board. Supreme Guardian Titania. Tatiana? Supreme Guardian Tatiana made us him a speech. Permanently rebuilt his hand. Wow. The 50th anniversary of the death of Alexandra, Alexandra the third Supreme Guardian of Bellabog. We had spent some most peaceful half century since the founding of Bellabog after the great woman's passing. The people live in prosperity, and the city is moving in the right direction. We are at the best time in our history. All of this is because of the work the Supreme Guardian put in while she was alive. Today I ask us to please offer our most sincere thanks to Madame Alexandra. During Madame Alexandra's tenure, Bella Bog underwent dramatic transformations. The extent of the development for the underworld accelerated, and countless spirited young people made their name in the mining towns. While she put in great effort in developing the society and economy of the underworld, Madame Alexandra also devoted herself to developing education. She supported and created the University of Balbog for the scientific research, with her generosity and scientific understanding of underground ecology also reached new heights. Moreover, Madame Alexandra was also unified in the units of measurements in the Bellabog, and established the after-fortification calendar, which is still in use. It is a fair it is fair to say that were there not were it not for Madame Alexandra, Bellabog would perhaps still be living in the equivalent of a chaotic and ignorant night. Personally, Supreme Guardian Alexandra was a hero I, I never met. When I was still a candidate for the Supreme Guardian, Madame uh, Inca often spoke to me about Grandma Alexandra. It could be said that she had seemingly never left us, and is still with us today. Bella Bug will forever remember Alexandra as every day as every supreme guardian before her and after her. We will not forget these great names and even after fifty, no, we will remember even after a hundred, five hundred, or a thousand years. Once again, let us give our deepest respect to the great Supreme Guardian Alexandra. Hmm. Brothers in court, goth mansion, seal temple reveille. Several carefully cut newspaper clip. Yep. The goth family, a prominent family of fellow bugs. Hmm. Before the incidents of Austin Goth's funeral had a chance to settle, his two sons were already stirring up ruckus in court. Yikes. Uh, shortly after Rustic Goth passing. Okay. Family had a reputable name before founding. However, Rustic Goth would not include his trip as well. 
can ever be there. Pretty lengthy stuff, huh? I think I'll do one of these for now. Should be fine with just three. Clemency? Never heard of it. The truth of life and death revealed in this is but a vision. Definitely stuff I should be going to more often. Revealed in an instant, this century is but a vision. Got this. I told you I could fight. Stay right there while I give you a present. Let's go. Level 11. Alright. So I still managed to beat that, so... That's cool. Um... Oh. 
Let's add a weakness to this, shall we? Rules are made to be broken. You got to you're welcome. Let's make it quick. Take this. Whack. Hmm. Okay, one step. Never heard of it. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This is but a vision. I told you I could fight. Stay right there while I give you a present. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this. Make it rain. Make it rain. That's good. See what's in the treasure chest. Stuff. Keep at it. Keep at it. Keep at it. In fact, I have been healed whenever I go. Let's see, what have we in this one? We'll do one attempt. What were the what were the negative ones? Ice and that one. March, remember that. I feel like it's also technically spoiler, though. Step aside. I have no interest in still. The times have changed beyond recognition. That's actually pretty cool. I may have to try to get that when it's a try to get it. Okay, so that's another one. Come from here. Ah. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
It's getting late. Where to now? This gate's closed. Maybe you get the oh, okay. I got this. Yeah, I did. Okay. Some monsters when we're at it, why not? I told you I could fight. Let's go. Batter up. Rules are made to be broken. It's a home run. Some ults for it. Let's make it quick. And quick it was. <laughs> Reach the end of the story in your own way. Guards here. Careful not to alert them. They must have entered from another direction to cut us off. We no. should avoid an open conflict. Let's find another path. Another path. I'm gonna have to remember to try and open that one later. A treasure chest. A treasure chest. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any way to open. Yes, we, we need to solve it. No matter. Looks good. Truth of life and death. Reveal this sin. Is but a vision. I told you I could fight. Watch this. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. And they are out. You couldn't have done it without me. <laughs> Just give us another experience. It's too late to repent. The time is now. Let's go. Take this! Swing the other bag, swing the other bag. You're annoying! Just a scratch.
reach the end of the story in your own way. See, I just... I shall open it. There's a monster in the area. We'll need to deal with it first. Ah uh, yes, consumables. I always forget about them. like that. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. This search is but a vision. Crit. Step aside. I have no time now. What's this? Easy peasy. She did. Had time to set up an ambush. Oh, you dare underestimate what? me. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it has suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Velabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. Oh, you're such a nuisance. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. Alleged crimes. Alleged. Allegedly. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? Oh, the indeed, I wonder. Investigated your backgrounds. She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. Is that so? News to me. Huh, what a two-faced hag! Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender. We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Well, if there's no escape, then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine. This should be fun. We wanted to mess with them. Whack. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. Oh, let's go, let's go. Come on. Oh. Clemency? Okay. Never heard of it. 
To me, what's this? Let's make it quick. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. What this icon is supposed to stand for. My turn. Onward. Step aside. I have no. Mm -hmm. Revealed in an instant, this sin is but a vision. I have no the truth of life and death. This sentence yeah. is but a vision. You have the worst luck running into him, Sting, right there while I give you a present. Let's go. Never heard of it. Okay. 
Ouch. With me out here, how can we lose? Step aside. The time is now. Alrighty. And whack. First, uh, you're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. No, we won't. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity hey, of the moment. It's a simple, simple kaski. an entrance he just really has to for some reason kind of like i do what i want basically cat logic <laughs> they will suffer sacrifice and die because of my order Mm. What about the Underworlders? They will lose the protection Shh. of the Architects. They will see me as a tyrant. Understand. <sighs> Come on, those toys of. Uh, then why hasn't she woken up yet? Because she's sound asleep. <laughs> Didn't you hear her sleep talking? Uh, uh, poor <laughs> child. Sounds so like embarrassing. a bad nightmare. Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the Overworld girl? What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze before I knew it. I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. I really don't think he didn't know what he was doing. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? If it's a whole lot more attention from Wildfire you want, you're going about it the right way. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. These guys scratch my back? How could I live with myself if I didn't scratch them? Uh. And another thing, where does Wildfire get off Assuming that these fine folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. Which is why you've set them loose in the underground? Come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl... Get her back as soon as possible, then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over ten years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up, what would Wildfire do with her? What would they do with you? All right. I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Hey, sleepyhead. Looks like you're awake.
<laughs> back we have the time. I'll actually hold off on that for now. How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? I had a weird dream. I bet you were mumbling something about Celerons and wishes. Ah, Jeebus. I make sense of it. Well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day in my clinic. This is your clinic? Oh. Uh, nice to meet you, Ambi. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> you're very polite. <laughs> I tried to be. Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. So, I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So, if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. Sampo just told me that you lost consciousness. He didn't say why. Still, I'll wager it had something to do with him. He's always tinkering with his devices. Anyway, the opinion of the clinic is that none of you have come to harm. <coughs> Sampo told me. Don't worry, the Silvermane guards won't follow you below ground. You've been cut off from the surface for many years. <coughs> Even when things were at their worst down here, they never showed. Of course, I don't know the whole story behind why the architects ordered the lockdown. Who knows? Thanks to you, they might finally be about to lift it. Hoping that... Oh, please, you needn't worry. You've just been asleep for a while. I barely had to lift a finger. I might have exaggerated your condition for Sampo's years. But that guy owes me. Better bring me back some medicine. Where are my friends? They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the Silvermane guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her. It seems that he left his post and she made a run for it. Who is Sampo Good anyway? <laughs> He's a man of mystery. He claims mm -hmm. to be a simple cross-border businessman. Not that there's much to interest an overworlder down here. Either way, he's got a surprising number of connections. I've managed to secure more than a few urgent medical supplies through him, and he's been a big help to Wildfire. <clears throat> In any case, I don't think his intentions are sinister. Wildfire? It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silvermane Guards of the Underground, but less stone-hearted. Thank you, Dr. Natasha. No need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. I gotta find March 7th in Dan Hung. But where should I start? Probably outside the clinic, but I'm gonna collect stuff first. Take everything. I think that's everything, right? Looks like it. Yeah, I'll hold off for now. This will get even more stuff. Or do I want to take a, Do I want to stop for today? <laughs> to be fair, I am getting hungry, so. Uh, make dinner, I suppose. <laughs> right. That's fair enough. So. Yeah. Oh. 
Well, I suppose a like good time to end. I am starving at this point. So, to anyone that came by, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh follow if you haven't already for more live streams and until next time everybody. Ja. Uh Why am I Matane?